cute little bag. These sweats. Let me see if I can show you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name's Carmen. I make fashion, luxury, lifestyle content here on YouTube. So if you guys like what you see, please consider subscribing. So yeah, I found this cute little spot in the corner of the room to film. It's near the window. Today's video is everything that I got from Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all after figuring out what I'm keeping and then I went ahead and returned everything. So that's why this video is a little bit later, but let's just go ahead and get started. I got this cute little bag. So I thought I would add it in. I have a few items from Aritzia, some of which I actually just ended up paying retail because their sale goes so fast and their stock goes so fast. And I'll let you guys know what I got on sale and when I got retail. So big scarves have been in I was looking at the Acne Studios one, but I just liked this one better. I feel like it's not that trendy. I can wear it with anything and I can wear it for a long, long time. It also doubles as a blanket. So that's really nice. And it still fulfills like my like for like little logos and stuff. So it's from Wilfred. It is a wool scarf. So that justified the price. It was like 70 something. Most of the brands that I shopped from on Aritzia was 10% off Aritzia categorizes their sale by like what brand you're shopping so this is really cute i haven't styled it yet because i've actually been waiting for it to get like really really cold because when i put this on like when i try it on with my outfits like i'm literally sweating so i guess that's a good thing because it keeps me very very warm next is this item i actually had to wait a little bit since i bought it to get it in the mail so i think this item is pretty popular this is the tna chill atmosphere flare i got it in size small and high rise i've yet to try it on but i'm sure it'll look cute i have a lot of flare pants from princess polly but i don't have like this legging material so that's why i picked it out from aritzia i hope it's really flattering most of the stuff that i get from aritzia i love and it's quite pricey so i have to be careful when i shop there and i'm sure you guys do too okay these sweats all stem from one purchase so let me start oh, i just put these away in my closet too so Give this video a like. So this is the TNA Cozy Fleece in small. I believe this is like the shrunken hoodie. That's what it's named. I picked it out and I tried it on and it was so, so, so cute. So cozy. I think I literally didn't even take it off for the rest of the day and I just kept the tag hanging on it. Um, I've already styled this. So cute. I definitely see a lot more casual outfits and coming into the spring weather when it's still a little bit cold, I can... I can still see myself wearing this as well. It's cropped. I love it. So if you're a big fan of Aritzia, they have like certain colors. So this is actually the first item that is in this shade of gray, which is called like Heather Dover gray or something. And everything else I have from Aritzia is Heather Chrome. So when I wore it together, it looked so weird. And I realized I don't have anything in this shade of gray to like match it with so that's why i went ahead ah, and i picked up two sweatpants so i did pay for these retail i guess because i love this so much sorry for any noise i'm sitting near the window so it's a little bit noisy here so i got some more items in that heather dover gray and i did pick these up retail because it just bothered me that i didn't have anything as a set so yeah this one i did find on sale which is really awesome it was actually marked down a significant amount it was like 48 and while i was trying these on i was like damn am i really paying 48 dollars for sweats i did and these are even more which we'll talk about it a bit i think these retail for 70. i got these in a size small and i actually did a little bit of my diy hemming on the inside to make it fit to my waist so i just went ahead and ripped up the seam and then hook it in like an inch or two they are a little bit thinner than my usual sweats so i have a little bit of an option and i'm a homebody i work from home for the most part right now i think it was just announced like at my full-time job that they are like preparing for us to go back as a hybrid schedule which i'm really 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 sad about but that's a problem for later me so i have these sweatpants for when I am home and then I picked up these 
oh my god I should not have put these in my cart because when I got them I found every reason to justify keeping these and these are $78 retail and I justified it by saying I'm home all the time and I deserve to have nice comfy sweats so they're basically like cargo pants but with sweatpant material so 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 cute and again I did the same thing I cut into it and took it in the main reason is because I think a lot of the sizes are sold out in this so I just kept the small so I did take these in so it is my size in the waist and they're a little bit baggier of a pant which I'm a-okay with but generally I probably would have gotten a size extra small if I had known but that's okay and then my last thing from Aritzia is this coat right here and I just love it I actually got a few iterations of this coat so like I got it in size 2 in like a gold camel color I got it in a size 1 in a gray like relaxed camel hair material and finally I have it in this black color it's a size 1 and it is cashmere and wool one it is the regular length a lot of people ask me what length it is but the lengths are super different like this is the regular length and then they make one for tall but obviously that is not for me and then the short one is like right here so I got a few questions on that so just letting you guys know and yeah I took this is a perfect jacket if you're looking to invest in like a nice warm coat that's like not a puffer or a parka like you're looking for like a pea coat overcoat looking kind of jacket I totally recommend Aritzia's. They definitely are pretty expensive, but when I wear them, I do feel super duper warm in them. This is actually my second one. The first one I bought like final sale, so that was definitely a commitment. But I wore it recently and I got a lot of compliments on it, so it's still like fashionable and in trend. Like I think these jackets will be here to stay. Like there's always going to be a need for a long coat. That was my justification for this one. It was 10% off. There was a little bit of a fiasco on my Instagram. So apparently when you chat with Aritzia, they all give you different responses. So my suggestion is if you're not getting the response that you think you want, try again. What I mean by that is when I first messaged them and asked them if I could exchange the color but keep the style, the representative was like, no, it has to be the same color and style. You can only exchange size. And then one of my besties, Carmen, she DM'd me because she chatted them and asked the same question. And that person was like, oh, I would love to help you exchange size and color. So then I was like, oh my God, Carmen, let me try again. So I tried again and that person helped me. So that's how I was able to exchange from size 2 to size 1 from the golden camel color to black. And I only share with you all of this because I wanted to keep the sale price of 10% off. So that's why I went through the hassle of it all to keep the 10% off for this jacket because you know if I can save some money I might as well. What ended up happening is that I gave her my phone number so I could give her my credit card info over the phone because I think you're not supposed to do that in chat. So after all that fiasco I have this lovely jacket. I've already dressed it up and I can totally dress this one down. I love it so so much. My dream is to like wear this while I'm walking my dog while it's cold. I'm appreciative of the responsibility that I have. Hopefully that will be soon. Don't want to hype you guys up too much, but just sharing with you guys what I had in mind when purchasing. So last few items, I didn't get them on sale, but I thought I would share with you guys because I'm excited about them and wanted to haul them. So I'm just going to throw them in here. So I'm in Brooklyn a lot and one of my favorite stores is Awoke Vintage. They are pretty pricey to me. They have secondhand items but what I like is like their retail stuff that they carry. Like they carry certain brands and they sell them at their storefront. So I've been looking for a beanie. I actually bought the beanie from Aritzia but it just did not look good on my head. So I was trying this one on in store and it actually looks really cute on me at least I would like to say so this is what it looks like I think I think I have to accept this is the cutest I will look in a beanie 
but you know I just really wanted one I think it looks not bad and it's from this brand called Brixton I saw that they also carry it at PacSun so I guess if you want to pick it up get it from PacSun and I actually like that it has a little tag again I like my little logo details and then at um, the reason why we went back to Woke Vintage is for these I tried them on in the summer and I was like, these are $45, I could find these on Amazon. So I ordered a ton of like those orangey yellow lens sunglasses from Amazon and none of them, none of them fit the bill. They didn't fit, they didn't look the way they looked at the store. So I had to go back and I've been thinking about them ever since. The brand is Spitfire and you can order them online. So again, if you guys like them, um, I'll put a link in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Um, so yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's a thrift store, but they also carry, like, brands. So these are them. These are the ones I ended up going with. I like them because they still give that, like, sunglass translucent lens look. But when I am seeing, like, I can still see normally and see colors. Let me see if I can show you guys. Yeah, like it still looks relatively like a normal color. Like it's not blue or anything. Like it's not throwing off like my reality. So <laughs> that's why I like them. I love them so much. They just look so cool. I don't know if I'll ever remember to bring them out like when styling outfits. I really hope I do because they just add to it. But even like wearing them now at home, like I still feel so happy and they just make me so happy. So that's why I picked these up and justified the $45. It comes with a case. I got a new one behind the counter. So that was really, really awesome. Oh, have you guys been getting like text messages from like people pretending to be at Citibank? Like I don't even bank with Citibank. Like leave me alone. Stop telling me it's fraud. I don't have an account. Um, yeah, Cody's been getting a lot. My friends have been getting a lot. Hate it. Just thought I would rant. So, have some makeup items in this shoebox lid that I thought I would share with you guys. Picked up a few things from the Ulta sale. They had like a coupon going on that was like $10 off 50 and um, a lot of other deals going on with certain brands. So, I'll talk you guys through it. And I also placed an order with Glossier. They had 20% off the entire website and there were a few items I've been wanting to try from Glossier so that's what I picked up so I think for the last three years up to September I've had lash extensions with my girl Nina but I kind of just wanted to take a step back and just chill um not for the sake of the health of my lashes they've been perfect just felt like I kind of like depended on lash extensions to feel pretty and then when they would start to like fall out and I wouldn't have any more or if I pulled them all out I literally like didn't like the way I looked so I think that was like a self issue that I had to work on so I was like you know what let's dial it back as much as you like lash extensions like this is something that I have to work on on my own and also I'm in Queens and the lash girl that I go to is in Manhattan so every time I go I have to make like a whole day out of it I think it's definitely a lot better now prettier and more confident and less insecure without lash extensions I've kind of like gotten used to my face without lash extensions obviously I'm wearing lashes now that's just to look a little bit more glam and presentable but I think in vlogs you see me without lashes so you know I'm getting better at it proud of myself and the bonus is that I get to save some money one thing that I like about lashes is that every time I put them on it's like a new fresh set like I never have to deal with that awkwardness of like when you're waiting for a fill and your lashes are like barely there so I love that I will share with you guys the lashes that I ended up keeping and the ones that I like so hopefully you guys like this part this is a little bit new for me but I think I do get some comments and DMs about what lashes I wear so let me address that these are my all-time favorite lashes they are the Ardell they're the Ardell FX 
lift and define in the L curl. I really love how they look. They actually look like lash extensions. I love curling lashes because they just like open the eye up rather than being like this you curl them and then they look like this so these are my all-time favorites so is this it oh yeah so how i apply falsies is with falscara it's the only way i can apply it i also have the remover because this is so 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 tacky and then next i wanted to try this one i always thought jordan woods had like really cute lashes so i thought if she is collabing and creating a lash it would look good and i was right so i got one of them they look so so good but i want to bring up um if you are using falscara definitely look at the band if the band is thicker you're definitely going to feel it more when you're wearing it but i thought these look so cute they're worth you know dealing with the thickness so definitely for comfortability if you are like new to it or just want to be comfortable definitely look for a thinner band i'll show you some that are thinner band in a bit these are cute too these are like a little remy lash that i picked up and if you look here the band is thinner so i would recommend these if you you know just want to be comfortable so these are cute kiss definitely makes some really good ones so i was sent this style and I love them. So I picked up another one. These are My Lash But Better in Blast. And they look so, so, so good. And then I got some multi-packs because, you know, your girl is doing falsies now. So I have So Wispy Pompadour and then So Wispy number one. The number one I actually tracked down from tiktok comments where this girl answered what she wears and these look so good they look like a natural set of extensions really really cute and then these are what i'm wearing today they're like short but they give you drama so love these i got some more falscara i got a nyx fill in fluff i saw these in miss tiffany ma's video as i've been watching her house flip journey it's been really interesting and i saw her mention these so i got these i saw these on sale this is kiko milano and i kept it because i love the packaging it was like nine dollars after this but oops but doesn't it look so luxe like it looks like it's forty dollars so um it goes on really well i like it i'm happy with it i'm not that picky with bronzers and i use them a lot so this is shade 5. Oh, and I got a Wet n Wild Beauty Blender. I just took it out of the packaging. I wanted to give a shout out to this concealer I picked up that I put in here. It is the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. I wish I got it in a little bit of a darker color, but it still works for me, especially like with my winter color. This is in Light Natural and oh my god. I use so little of this and it just brightens up my under eyes so so much i've been using tarte shape tape for about like six years and i've tried a few like cheaper brands like elf and nyx but and um the maybelline fit me but i think i just like the a little bit of a higher end packaging so this is really nice i feel like this is going to last me forever because i use so little of it and the thing that i hate about the shape tape is the packaging like it literally sucks and it the doe foot applicator will like stop picking up product but there's so much product in the tube so i'm really happy this is a squeeze tube i'm so happy to move on from shape tape so definitely if you have like pretty dark under eyes and you're looking for a good amount of coverage this one let me show you guys um, I think it retails for a lot, like 30 or 40 but I ended up getting it for like 19 So, great deal there. I think if it ever goes on sale again, I'll pick up another one. So, love that. Then, let's talk about Glossier. It's not in here, but my favorite lip color is Glossier's Generation G and Cake. So, if you ever want to know what's on my lips, it's usually cake. <laughs> cake, huh? So this is my recent foundation I've been using. Kind of wanted to go with something a little bit more simple. So this is Glossier's Perfecting Skin Tint. I got it in the shade Medium. It's super cute. It kind of just gives you a little bit of coverage, but your skin, your skin like imperfections still show through. Like, ugh, probably not getting picked up, but I have like a little like, what's it called? Like a discoloration like right here. And 
generally that's how I tell if things are high coverage. Um, it still shows through, so that's that. Then I had to try out Boy Brow. I got it in medium. I like it for natural days. Then I got Glossier's Stretch Concealer. It's kind of like, it's like a paint pot. It's like in a pot, which I don't love, but it's cute. I thought it would be cute for like, I thought it would be cute for like natural days. So I got that. I think it's in my makeup bag, but I got, I got two of these. The other one's in my makeup bag. This is in the color Beam, I think. Yeah, this is in the Beam color. The other one that I'm using is in the color Dusk, and I love it. It's such a good, like, rosy color. Like a muted rosy color, and then this one's like more of a pop of orange. And then I got Solar Paint. I think this is like their version of a bronzer. I'm still trying to learn how to use this because it's pretty pigmented. But again, for natural days, if I wanted a little bit of bronzer. And then this is like their liquid sheer matte lid tint in Skywash. It's a super neutral color, kind of a similar color to my eyelid already. So really nice, easy to use. So yeah, that was everything. Last thing is something I was sent as PR, but I thought I would add it in because I think it's super duper cute. So here it is. This is PR sent from Pauline. I have been in the market for like a crescent bag and I recently went to Celine to check out their Ava bag. I, I personally thought like I would just like buy it outright if I ever went and sort of tried it on because I would love it so much. But for some reason, I don't know if it was like my outfit or the weather or the lighting, but it didn't speak to me. It didn't pop out to me, which I'm glad because I saved I saved myself from spending that money. So when Pauline reached out to me and I saw that they have like a nice crescent shaped bag, I said yes. And I thought I would do the unboxing with you guys. They asked me to mention it or anything, they just sent it to me. So this is the numero Dix. Dix? Yeah. You can wear it two different ways, a long strap or a short, short strap. I think I'm definitely going to be wearing it with the short strap, but it's good that it gives you options. So, it comes in this cute little box. Not the cutest unboxing. Okay. So, here's the packaging. I picked out this. Oh my god, I could not. Oh my god. I could not decide on what color. So,. Let's see what it looks like in real life. I picked like their, I picked like their warm brown color. They had like a dark mahogany brown and then they had like a light beige. So I picked the one in between and I was like, that's probably the safest bet. Oh wow. Wow, the packaging is so safe. Like look how safe she is. So yeah, it's a crescent. What I mean by that is like a moon shape, a C shape. This is the short strap, which I'll probably switch it to. And wow, the dust bag is so thick. Holy crap. Their dust bag is like nicer than Louis Vuitton's. This would make a great gift if anyone wanted one. But yeah. But yeah, I've been seeing crescent bags have been everywhere. There's this vintage Louis Vuitton one I've been looking at that um, Matilda Durf, I don't know how to say her name, but she's been rocking it and I've been loving her rocking it. So I don't have scissors with me. So hopefully ripping. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's wow, it's actually so nice. It's so luxurious looking. Do you see that? It's so luxurious. Wow. This bag is really nice. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you. Even the back, the back says Pauline. The front says Pauline. Really nice attention to detail, I do have to say. Zipper seems nice. Wow, 
Wow, I can totally see myself wearing this like all the time. The outside is Italian calfskin and then the inside is and then the inside is velvet microfiber. So really some luxe stuff. Thank you so much, Pauline. I'm gonna try to figure out how to change this. This can't be the short way, right? Okay, I figured it out, so I'm gonna do it with you guys. Um, this is really similar to the Palm Springs mini backpack. So this is the sh long strap, and then this is the short strap. So you just switch it out, and these are like the little connectors. I'm short, so I'm gonna make it pretty short. Okay, and here she is as a short bag. The dust bag is really nice. Try it on. Yes, it is giving. Mm, so happy. So cute. I love it. I can't wait to style it. And yeah, that was everything. It was actually so fun to sit down and talk to you guys again. If you guys like this video, please give it a like. If you would like to see more from me, definitely consider subscribing and turn on post notifications. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next